Hello everyone, and I am delighted to welcome you all to St Paul's. It's been such a long time, hasn't it? And I'm so looking forward to seeing your Easter performance. And we are all delighted to be back in school via Zoom for Open the Book. And do you remember last week we had the story of the Great Parade when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and we talked about the palm branches and in Jerusalem and how they are made into palm crosses to help us remember how Jesus died on the cross. And I've got one here for you and I've got one for every single one of you in a bag from St Paul's. And I've also got for you a little book titled All About Easter, A Resurrection Rhyme. So that gives us the story of Easter. And there's also a little surprise in the bag for you as well from everyone in St Paul's. So, on behalf of everybody in St Paul's, we wish you and your families a very happy Easter and we look forward to seeing you next term. So take care and God bless. just how big the crowds filling the streets would be. I was, I was 
I'm sure that the feast would be extraordinary. Sure enough, something extraordinary did happen that year. It was all to do with a man named Jesus. Jerusalem bustled. The inns and guest houses for miles around were full to bursting, and tents crowded the slopes below the city. That's when we overheard the gossip. The king of the Jews is here. Move aside. Whoever was coming, he had to be really important. Who is he? No, he's a madman. Wherever he goes, he kills the sick, the deaf, and the blind. Wherever he goes, he angers people. He's the Messiah, the Son of God. Look, he's going to the temple. Let's hear what he has to say. A plot was brewing, a plot against Jesus. While the crowds heard Jesus preach at the temple, the high priest Caiaphas met with all the elders of the city. They had gathered at the palace to discuss how they could arrest Jesus, arrest him, and kill him. That may not, but who do you think he is? He says that he's the Son of God. He might be yelling before he finds people against us. The people are listening to this man and soon they will stop listening to us. I have been a high priest too long to let this commoner steal my power. If we condemn Jesus publicly, then the crowd will turn on him. But first we must find him when he is alone. That's when a man arrived at their gathering. His name was Judas Iscariot, and he was one of Jesus' disciples. What will you give me if I agree to betray Jesus? This bread is my body and this wine is my blood. Soon you will all leave me. No! Never! Of course not! My lord, I never would. Peter, you will deny me three times before the rooster crows tonight. What's more, then one person here will be my betrayer. Tomorrow, we. Yes. This is the last supper I will all share with you, for tomorrow I will die. But after that, we. But after that, I shall rise north and go to Galilee. Meet you there. After supper, Jesus went to the garden of Gethsemane to pray. That night, the air of Jerusalem hung still and heavy with the scent of almond blossom. The olive trees stood guard like guard sentinels. Though he had seemed calm and supper, Jesus was troubled. Please, watch over me. He prayed so feverishly that sweat poured down his face. Some say he prayed so earnestly that the angel appeared to him and blessed him with strength for the trials ahead. He prayed for so long that when he returned to his, di to his di disciples, they were sleeping. Wake up! But at that moment, the darkness of the evening was dispersed by golden light which flooded into the garden and black bounded from tree to tree. This was a signal that the 
soldiers had been waiting for. With a roar, they surged forward, seized Jesus, and marched him from the garden.
service today and I'm sure you would like to join in with me in thanking the teachers, staff and young people at our schools for all of the hard work that they've put in to their Easter service. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you showed your love for us by bringing Jesus back from the dead. Help us to remember that when we feel we're being broken, your love can heal us too. Amen. Now, shall we bow our heads as we receive God's blessing? Lord God, you loved the world so much that you gave your one and only Son that we might be called your children too. Lord, help us to live in the gladness and grace of Easter Sunday every day. Let us have hearts of thankfulness for your sacrifice. Let us have eyes that look upon your grace 
and rejoice in our salvation. Help us to walk in that mighty grace and to tell your good news to the world. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and those whom you love and pray for, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.